This tutorial is a small portion of the first lesson of the fourth geostatistics course related to the interpolation and mapping of Kryging. In this tutorial you are going to learn how to convert in spreadsheet of lat and long to UTM coordinates, step by step. Also, you are going to see how to create a shapefile with the data. We are going to execute all the process with QGIS. Double click to open. I'm using OpenOffice. This is a kind of a spreadsheet like uh, Excel, but this software is uh, open source and free software. Then, okay. And this one is going to be our new data set. Then file, save as. And we want to save with this format, text CSV. Then we are going to call this one as data. Data and save. Keep the current format. OK and OK. Now we are going to transform the geographic coordinates, latitude and longitude, and projected coordinates in UTM coordinates to have the distance in meters. We need that one in order to do the geostatistic analysis. Then to do that one, we are going to use QGIS. Now let's go to load the file that we created. Click here, select this option, go to the folder, in this case is over here, open, make sure you have selected this option over here. For X, we want the longitude, and for Y, we want the latitude, and that's okay. Then add, well, let me check the coordinate reference distance has to be different. Then in this case, we can use the code uh, 43, 26. This is an X standard for uh, geographic coordinates. And OK, and add, and close. And this one is the data set, right? Then if we add the satellite imagery, we can add the hybrid map. As you can see, the, the data is well located, right? This one is the borders of the state. You can see this white line over here. It's a little, a little bit hard to see the line. But the data is well located. Then the next step is to export the data as a UTM. Then to do that one, select the data go to export say save feature as here select the format csv let me check where is this one over here then the name of this one is going to be data but in utm utm save then for the coordinates we are going to select not this one, this one, but the zone. Let me check. U UTM zone 10 north is going to be not this one, this one. And as you can see, we open uh, Google Earth. Let me show you. You are going to see that in California, what we have is two different UTM zones. We have the UTM zone 10 and the UTM zone 11. And we have to decide in what zone we want to project our data. And I decided to project the data in number 10 because I want all my coordinates in a positive number. And I'm going to show you why. Let's go here and let's go to put here, for example, UTM coordinates. And let's go to see the images. And let's go to take, for example, this image over here, right? 
Then at the middle of the sum, the value that we have for the x, it's uh, 500,000, okay? And the value we have for y is uh, zero at the middle, just at the middle at the beginning, okay? Then if we go in this direction, the values are going to increase, okay? But if, if we go in this direction, the values are going to decrease. Then here, as you can see, we have a zero, right? Then if we go again to the Google Earth, we have to imagine, for example, that if we take a son 11, here at the middle, we are going to have the 500,000, right? But as we are moving to this direction, the values are going to decrease. Then it's going to be a moment, more or less over here, that the value is going to be zero. Then all the coordinates, right, from here to this area are going to be negative. And we don't want that one. And that's the reason because I decided to use the sum 10 to project all the data. Okay. Because in that reason here, if we have 500,000, when we are moving in that direction, all the coordinates are going to be positive and we are going not to have negative coordinates because that negative coordinates are going to be in zone nine. Okay. Then the, the final decision is we are going to project all the information in UTM coordinates, but just using the, the zone 10. Okay. And let's go to do that one. Zone 10. Okay. And another important thing here in geometry, we have to select this option, X and Y, and that's it. Okay. And now we have a new file over here. That is this one. We can open, double click to open. Is this one over here? Okay open as a copy. Now, as you can see, two new colors has been adding X and Y. And these two new colors are related with the UTM uh, coordinates. Now I want to remove these two columns over here because I don't longer need the latitude and longitude delayed. And also I would like to change the name of the parameter in order to avoid incompatibilities with R, right? This name is very long and there are too many characters and that one could be a problem when we are using R integrated in QGIS. Then here I'm going to call this one as a AQY. And that's it. And that's enough for this parameter. Then I'm going to save with a different name, save as. Keeping the, se the same format, uh, this one over here, and it's going to be this one with the number two, two and save. And that's it. Now we have the data we want. Close this one. And now let's go to open the, mm, this car. Now let's go to open the new file with QGIS. Then I'm going to close this one this car and open new QGIS. Then go here, select this option, select the number two. Okay. Look, this one is the X field with the X and the Y field with the Y. That's good. And select the coordinate reference systems. That has to be UTM son 10. This one over here. Okay. And add and close. Now we can add the satellite imagery also. This one. And let's go to change the color of the dogs. Well, we can do that one later. First, what I would like to do is to export this one as a shape file. We need that one in order to work with R integrated in QGIS. 
then here I have to select uh, every shape file the name is going to be data and we are going to save in this folder data data set for example save the coordinate reference distance is good and ok and now we have the format as a shape file if you go to properties and you go here to the information here you can see now we have a shape file then we don't longer need to use this one remove okay and we can change the color for this one properties change the symbology the color is going to be a yellow or red something that we can see easily right apply and okay